Mama is it from Zetster's Lab. Well, Christmas is just around the corner. And yesterday a friend of mine came and she asked a big favor. She said she's got these wooden spoons and um, she needs some gift for the people that um, work with her. And can I please just paint them? Well, to me that's not work. So this morning I thought, let me quickly do it. So, we all need gifts at times. Present to give loved ones, to give friends, co-workers, whatever. But it's always a real struggle. Going into the shops, find something precious that doesn't break your bank account. So this I thought I'm quickly going to share with you because this is just crazy easy. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be an artist to be able to paint a spoon. A wooden spoon. So she bought these spoons at pep stores. I think it was 18 rand each. That means a dollar. And um, I had the paints. My you, my ordinary acrylic paints. You can really use any paint. I had some paint brushes, a larger one, a little small one, and then I had something that really, really makes a huge, huge, <coughs> it's much easier to work with, so it's a little bit of the, the bottle that I can just write with. So I used this to write something on and if you are telling me that you cannot really paint, you don't have to paint. All that you have to do is you'll be, you can write. So I'm sure every one of us can write. So all you just write something on the spoon. Look at my childlike little flower and voila. If I can do it, you can do it. So I quickly made five. And they all a little bit different, different sayings that I found on Pinterest. I mean, you just go on Pinterest, type in how to paint wooden spoons and you get so many ideas. So this one, stir in smiles. I mean, really, isn't it gorgeous? Just a little bit lavender flowers there. This one says spice up life. So I don't know what kind of flowers that is, but really, you just, you can make a little heart, you can make a little face. Magic in the making. So I thought this is quite gorgeous. The secret ingredient is always love. And then my red flower. Let's stir in something magical. So I made all of these this morning. I think it took me about half an hour. Afterwards, I made sure that they dry. The thing that I usually do when I paint, I use layers upon layers. So this is what you can see here. It's not just a red flower. I started off with a black liner, make my little stems, then I add some greens. Then I made my flowers, added some yellow, and then I really, I just wet my um, paintbrush really wet, add some paint, and then I just washed with light orange, and later a, a, a light yellow, I just washed over the whole thing. And that's what makes it this nice effect. It's much nicer. You really have to be able to paint very perfectly if you just use one layer. So I think that's why I always have my a lot of layers. And then, it's not done yet. Then remember my big lot of materials that I got. So these are once again some of them. I just tore off a Piece. And now I am just going to make a little, I mean you can use any piece of material, 
And you just now look at that. Now this is what we call a present. And this made me think of this that I've heard. Life is a present. What does that mean? Because life happens, flows in this in the present, in the now. So life is a present that we need to open and enjoy and experience. It's not always a easy experience, not always a nice experience even. But if you don't go through the not as nice experience, you won't really appreciate the nice experiences, the beautiful experiences. So life is a present. Let's start to open life. Let's start to realize that we can only experience life in this present moment because everything that we see, we are life. Life is all around us. Life is flowing in and through us in its total abundance. But if I always live in either the past or the present, ach, the future, I miss life. I miss experiencing life, what life wants to give me. Life wants to give me what I need in this minute to live victoriously through this minute. No matter if I feel sick this morning, I feel a little bit offish, mouth ulcers, whatever. So, but I can focus on the pain in my mouth or I can create and realize that I have in me what it takes to get victoriously through this minute. All healing, the healing powers in me, peace, joy, love, patience. Whatever I need, provision is mine in this moment. So I am opening my present, present of life today. Because this is what makes me come alive. To create makes me come alive, makes me feel that I am alive, make me feel the life flowing through me. So yes, life is a present. Thank you that I can share my journey with you. Thank you that I can show you all my projects, get you excited about life, about creating. I hope make you realize you are not alone in whatever you're going through. Because we are one spirit, one life. So I'm going through it with you, even doesn't matter where I am physically, but together we are flowing in the one life, one spirit, one going, you're not alone, we are in this together, so this morning, if I can encourage you by showing you beautiful things that you can make, create, telling you that life is a gift, that you are not alone, that we can do this thing we call life, then I'm happy. Thank you so much. Love you lots. So this is my five spoons I need to... And I mean, she could have bought anything, but she decided to give it to me to make something special. So this is special. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Is it from Sister's Lab? Have a fantastic day and know that you are loved, you are loved, you are worthy, you are uniquely you, exactly what we need. We are all like this huge puzzle piece. If you are not you, then there's a hole in the puzzle. So we need each other in order to become whole, become who we really are, perfect love. Well, thank you, love you lots.
Is it from Sister Lab? So this is an idea. If I can, you can. Life is a present. Let's open it.